Hello YouTube, it's Chris Worden. So today's video is to help you understand what your responsibilities are as a director and to give you some tips uh, to try and mitigate any potential risk to you should you have to go into a liquidation procedure. So as soon as a big company becomes insolvent, the responsibilities of the director shift and and uh, as opposed from having your duty your responsibilities to the shareholders and making money your responsibilities shift to your creditors your creditors are people that you owe money to and it's really important that you do not make their positions any worse now it, <laughs> When a company goes into liquidation, an insolvency practitioner is duty bound to review very closely the conduct of the director. And there will be an intense spotlight on, on what's gone on in that business leading up to liquidation. Now, if you've been found to be in breach of any of your duties as a director, uh, OK, there's director disqualification. That's a possibility. But there's also personal liability for some or all of the business's debts that could be made on you, which is obviously not something that anybody wants if they're facing liquidation. Now, here are the tips that I'm going to give you. If you're worried about your company's future, whether you're insolvent or you think you're going to become insolvent, do these things. Maintain accurate books and records. Number two, keep all emails um, and any conversations that you have, make a note of them. Number three, document your decision making process. Very, very important. If you are continuing to trade and taking that decision, document and date it why you're doing that. Number four, keep your creditors informed. Now, I have been in a business that's struggling and staring liquidation in the face. It's stressful enough without having bailiffs on your door, phone calls every five minutes from your creditors and a winding up petition landing on your desk. So if you keep them informed, let them know what's going on on a weekly basis, you can, you can free up some of that mental space to focus on dealing what's in front of you. Um, number five, do not pay anybody preferentially. We've spoken about this before. If you don't know what a preferential payment is, I advise you to go back onto the First Business Rescue YouTube channel and watch that video. Um, number six, listen, if your business is struggling, take advice as soon as you can. Because the earlier, take, earlier that you take advice, the more favourable that the outcome could be and the more options you've got available. And maybe there is a rescue option uh, to keep the company going. Listen, number seven, if your company has been advised, to, if you've been advised by somebody to place your company into liquidation, then do it in a timely manner. Don't leave it months and months and months before you actually get round to it. Now, listen, I, I truly hope you don't end up in an insolvency procedure, but if it's a possibility, follow these tips and it will limit the um, limit the damage to you personally once you go into liquidation. My aim is to help you understand your position up front. We like to explain insolvency in an easy and uh, easy to understand manner. It's Chris Word. Give us a like, subscribe, comment, go and follow us on Facebook. And if you want to have a chat, my advice is free, independent and impartial. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for your time.